We're at the IS meeting here in Paris. We're here with Maria, who is from Janssen or Jensen, as we say. And you are the, the pharmaceutical component of a collaboration with Harvard. We talked with Dan Baruch earlier, so that can make the connection. You're both talking about the same thing, but from a different perspective. Yes. And I think the one thing we have to understand as community is to say, this is a long process. Our theme this year is past, present, future. Well, there's a lot of past to this, this compound and the way to approach the vaccine. So can you set us up on that, how long this took to, and yeah. how you might have, within a capsule here? Yes, yes, because I had the, I had the pleasure to, to work with Dan Baruch since the very beginning. So we started at uh, 2003, yes. So many years, we are in 2017, and uh, it took a long time because at the very beginning, we were in the early discovery phase, and we were looking at uh, you know the best components, the best antigens to bring into a vaccine. So we are working on uh, a preventive HIV vaccine. So it took long years to learn from prototype. And so always the science has been dictating also, you know, the next steps. And, uh, and of course, for us, it's exciting today. We presented for the, uh, for the first time the data from a large phase one to a study, evaluating the safety and the immunogenicity of different vaccine regimens. And again, you know, it was a complex study. Uh, with data that are encouraging, because what we have seen uh, during the years in preclinical evaluation, we see the same type of immune responses. And then looking forward, for us, this study has been uh, critical to um, meet, to see whether we were going to meet the go-no-go -go criteria pre-specified to say, okay, is it worth it to move to the next stage? And the next stage is even larger study where we hope to evaluate the efficacy, the potential to you know, protect against HIV acquisition. And we hope to start this study at the end of this year or early next year with uh, many collaborators. So we look for, forward to either Dan or you or someone from Janssen to come and tell us of the update. Yeah. Maybe at CRI. We are looking Maybe forward to that, yes. So how, how much, uh, are, are you actually the ones that are doing the animal studies as well as the other? So my, my, my function at Janssen is I, I, I'm leading a team which is a multidisciplinary, multifunctional. So within my team, I have the preclinical leader, so we, who is in direct collaboration with Dan Baruch. Dan Baruch has been leading all the preclinical studies and uh, um, the clinical leaders uh, are in, in the team from Janssen. So it's, it's, it, it, takes, uh, it takes many, many uh, people and many different disciplines. Any ideas on the numbers of people that might be involved in this, just to throw out a number? Oh, several hundred. Several hundred oh, yes. people. Really. Oh yes, so absolutely. This is not for, <laughs> for the faint of heart. No. You've got to be invested all in on this, on this kind of work. When you think about the hundreds of people that are invested in this one project. Absolutely. And that's just a vaccine that's being moved in 14, 15 years to maybe a success. Yeah. But it seems like there is the hope, as he said, for that this is going to work. It seems like we've had more hope than we've had in any, any other and more promise with the fact that the percentage of response is higher than others. Yeah. So it's exciting. And I'm, I'm hopeful for you and for all of our community that this will actually come to fruition. Exciting. And, and of course, you know, we need a vaccine. We need all the multiple tools to work together, hopefully to achieve what we all want, right? To, to, beat, to beat HIV. I'm definitely, definitely looking for a, 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 an outcome here that's really Thank positive. Thank you. Thank you. Looking forward. All right. Thank you very Thanks. much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Bye.